Hey guys, what's up? It's AppWorksX here, and today I will be sharing you guys a new city of tweak called Lockdown Pro. Lockdown Pro allows you to basically put specific passwords on specific apps rather than having it on your lock screen. So I'll just give you a quick demo right there. You do need a password to enter into settings, but we'll type that in to get to the settings application. So when we take a look at the preferences for Lockdown Pro, you are once again prompted for a password and then you are into your settings. The password basically obviously just protects it so other people don't uh, change your stuff. Right here you can choose uh, which applications you'd like to lock. So if I'd like to lock contacts, I can lock contacts, I can lock the clock, and I can lock other um, applications, whichever ones that you'd like to lock. You can also view your locked applications and unlock those if you no longer want them locked. And then right here you can either lock all applications or unlock all applications. Further down in the settings we have the ability to lock these settings or not, so that'll take off the password when you're trying to get in here. Enable Lockdown and Springboard Fast Lock, which I will show you a little bit later on in the video. And then you can also have the ability to lock all folder apps. So when you lock a folder, then all the apps inside will also be locked. Um, definitely a good privacy setting if you do have a folder. Uh, I guess with personal information or anything like that. Next year we do have some other settings like the ability to lock icon placement, deletion, um, no enter button when you're opening the app or the ability to add the launch button. Nothing t uh, too important there although you can have custom passwords I just do not use those. Right here you can also turn on numeric password or alphabetic and then you can change your safety word or change password. Um, the safety word basically you need to remember or else you uh, will not be able to get into the application. So let's go back to the springboard here and I will show you the uh, I guess springboard lock feature of Lockdown Pro. So if we try to open up settings here, like I said it's locked, type in your password and it automatically launches. Whether at the same time locked and you open it up or you type in your password to launch it up and same thing with contacts um, you basically have to type in your password now it's really cool is if you start putting your icons in wiggle mode you can even launch or lock specific applications right from the home screen by typing in your password then as you can see there is a red lock button now and when I try to open it it will not or it'll only allow me to open it when I type in my password in addition, you can also lock and unlock folders, so I'll unlock it here, just to show you that it's unlocked. And then I will lock it using my password, and now my folder is locked and requires a password. So this is really good if you have, um, I guess, specific apps that hold personal data. You can put all those in a folder, and no one will be able to access them, but they can still use your phone because you do not have a lock screen lock. So overall, Lockdown Pro is a really good option for uh, password protecting specific applications but still allowing um, to use your phone without typing in a password every single time you turn it on. So Lockdown Pro can be purchased in Cydia for $2.99 and is definitely worth the buy. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere up there, follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. Um, also, check out iOSbeta4.com for the latest iOS betas and to register your UDID. It appears that iOS 5 is going to be delayed a little bit, but when that does come out, you can buy your spot right there and test it out. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.